Let us talk about two mistakes that I know that you're going to make. These are ones that I've learned from years of experience. These are the mistakes that I've made, a lot of my friends have made, and a lot, lot, lot of my students have made. The problem is that after the exam is over, they come and report to me that I made this mistake. You would be smart if you learn from this video and never ever made this mistake. That way you can even save a whole year of your preparation. So listen to me carefully and let's go about it one by one. The first one is connected to your class notes. I already know the numbers. More than 80% of you guys are revising your class notes till January. I know this because I've literally done polls on this. Class notes covers everything. It is going to be the thickest note related to that particular subject for good reasons. Because let us take an analogy. You have to go to second floor. The general trajectory would be that you go to the ground floor, then to the first floor, and then to the second floor. Unless you're Superman and you're directly going to fly over there. But for normal human beings who are going to appear in gate examination, you have to go through the levels. So think about the basic concepts, the definitions as the ground floor, the derivations as the first floor, and your gate examination as the second floor. So to reach that level where you're able to solve those numerical questions, you will have to learn all the below. But you will have to revise the final second floor for the end portions because you can't invest that much time because one class notes, I would be guessing I can't really say in the terms of pages might be as large as 500 pages depending on what what is the font that you're using in your writing or depending on how much conservative you were regarding the space utilization. So that is not that is just not possible. A lot of people just want to do everything in the end moment and because of that they are not able to focus sufficiently on the things that are really necessary. So you directly have to revise the end moment. Those times, there were times in which you should have revised class notes. And if you have gone through my three-step revision, one day, one week, and one month revision, well, one week and one month were your class notes revision. And now the time has passed until and unless you have completed some subject just one month ago. But just before the gate examination, one month before the gate examination, revising the subjects that you have completed maybe five months ago does not make any sense to me because now you should be much more focused towards numerical solving and that will be held by your formulas revising and solving more and more numericals so that you will be better at utilizing those concepts. So this whole idea basically comes from semester mentality. So in semester examination, you will be revising your class notes days before the semester examination. But that does not work over here. Over here, you'll have to focus more on application. And that is why right after graduating or during graduation also, what people do is that they go through page after page of their class notes and because of that, they never gain that accuracy, they never gain that speed to solve a lot of questions. And some people gain that after three years because by that time, they finally realize the same thing. It is better if you realize that in this attempt itself. There's a reason why I explained it in such an elaborate fashion because I do not want you to miss out on this one. The second one is kind of complicated. It's like inception of fear of not having sufficient time. So this is what happens. Everyone thinks that they do not have sufficient time in the last moment of preparation. Everyone thinks that they could use more time if they had it. Everyone thinks that they wasted some time in the past which they shouldn't have and because of that they do not have sufficient time right now. Well, if everyone thinks that, how about you stop worrying about it and let others worry about it because worrying about it is going to waste much more time. So what happens is that you think that you do not have enough time because of which you waste a lot of time worrying because of which you really do not have enough time. <laughs> so this is like straight up 101 manifestation. So please stop doing that. See, here's a clear cut my personal experience. So I appeared in competitive examinations three years, 16, 17, 18. So in 16 series of examination, before every examination, I said, 
I just wished that I had one more week, just one more week. And I then failed in those examinations. Then I got one more year instead of just one week. And then 2017 examinations comes. And then I said that I wish that I had just one more week. Every time before the examination, there's always something else that you want to do there's always something more that you want to do which is actually a very good sign that means that you're very serious for your examination this also connects to the first mistake that you just want to go through every question that you've solved want to go through every class note short notes micro notes whatever you if if you had sufficient infinite time you would go through the recording of all the lectures that you have already gone through but that's just not possible this examination is about time management right so Coming to the second point again, you again have to choose what is more important, what is less important. So whatever is the time, majority of the time has passed. You have to agree that let us say you took six months for your preparation and now two months are remaining. So obviously two third of time is gone. That is majority of the time, right? So the left time is there for a reason. It has its purpose. So utilize that for that purpose. Understand what you should assign that time for instead of worrying. Well, you should be happy for one thing because your competition is worrying and maybe that person is not watching this video, which is great for you. But you need to stop worrying. Well, it is very easy to say, don't worry. You are going to waste a lot of time. But then again, you worry about worrying about worrying. So that is again, like I said, it's going to be like an inception thing. So here's how you don't worry. This it's a very very clear cut flow chart very simple eight standard student can understand this so here's, here's how it goes you have a problem if yes then why worry if no then why worry if you have a problem why not to worry because either go for a solution or stop dealing with that in either case worrying does not apply well easier said than done but like i said examinations teach you a lot of things and maybe this is your time to learn how to stay calm cool under pressure we used to say that there are very few people who are perfect examples of high pressure and low temperature that means that when the pressure is very high one day before the examination or in, in your case one month before the examination the temperature has to be low it has to be cool you have to learn how to do it it cannot happen by just, hey, here's a code, go through it, and now you're cool under pressure. Does not work like that. But consistently trying to achieve that will help you that. Point remains the same that everybody thinks that they do not have sufficient time. That includes you. It matters how you deal with that situation. And everyone has to deal with it does not matter how long have you been preparing. Three months, you'll feel the same thing. Six months, you'll feel the same thing. Three years into the examinations, one week before the examination, you will feel the same thing. So that's about it, guys. I hope that you learned a few things out of this video. I hope that you are going to do great in your examination. All the best from my side, although my guidance is going to continue up till the examination and after the examination. Don't you worry about that. And I'll see all of you in the next one. Till then, bye.